Hello, hello, and welcome back to the next part in the guide series that I'm making for the EC server. Um, and uh, the previous vi video we went through tier 6, Anguish, uh, quite rapidly, if I must say. <laughs> uh, but then again, uh, that zone is pretty straightforward, as I mentioned in the video. Um, so now we are in tier 7. Uh, loping planes. Uh, so obviously after completing uh, the tasks in tier 6 you have to hail the level up uh, wench and uh, get leveled up so you can uh, get into loping planes where I am currently situated. This is actually for a few reasons. This is actually maybe my favorite zone on the server. Um, I'll touch into why I really like this zone uh, during the, the video, I guess. Um, but um, starting off here in Loping Plains, you can see it's a nice outdoor area. Uh, there are a few caves where you can crawl in and kill some, uh, some, some mobs, but a lot of the action is outdoors, uh, which is really nice when you're dragging along <laughs> a lot of characters. Um, you may use mounts and levitate here, which is uh, super nice and useful. Uh, and as you can see on my map in front of me here, um, there are a lot of mobs in this zone. It's almost five, well, nearly 500 mobs in here. Uh, and you need to kill a lot of these mobs, uh, you know, to, to, to progress. Um, and um, just like in tier 5, the Abyss, uh, which I made a, a, a movie about um, recently. Uh, there is also, uh, it is also quite important that you uh, know some of the map commands in this uh, zone as well, because when you run around here and kill the mobs in the zone, uh, you may trigger uh, other mobs and bosses to spawn, and they may be hard to notice when there are so many, you know, blue mobs in here. So. Uh, whichever you prefer, you can use the highlight. You can use it, I would use it on all my characters, in case one of the characters die, in case you will lose the highlight. Uh, so when you highlight uh, NPC, they will look like this, as I showed in the Abyss video. Uh, but you may also just map hide everything. Um, and, uh, and then it will definitely be, be clear. Um, you can do the BCA map hide NPC. And all your clients will hide uh, the mobs on the map. Uh, and this way it'll be really easy to see when you have triggered something. Uh, because um, triggering um, spawns in here is, uh, is quite, uh, quite important to notice. And because they will usually drop something that you need or... Um, or at least a start a chain of something that you want to continue on. So, um, so there are too many things in here that you want to work on. Uh, um, and it's basically the same as the other instances. You need to work on your armor, your uh, tier 7 armor, and you need to work on upgrading your epic to uh, epic uh, 7. Uh, so starting off with the, um, uh, the armor first. Uh, this is actually uh, now the first zone where you don't need to combine your armor with your previous tiered armor anymore. Uh, so that is quite nice as well. Um, you basically, when you kill the when you kill the mobs in here that drops the the armor pattern, you can just hand them into this guy over here, the wandering trader, and he will give you your armor. Uh, apart from that, we don't really have any new uh, new vendors here. It's basically the same as in the previous zones that I've shown you. Uh, but um, let's start by seeing uh, by by checking out how you can get your armor. Uh, when you run around this zone and you kill the mobs in the zone, uh, there is a chance that you will spawn a vampire bat. Uh, the vampire bat is the boss that drops the um, is the boss that drops the the armor patterns and uh, and when you kill the bat um, you will get the pattern. Uh, 
but one of the really uh, one of the things that I really liked the first time I was in here uh, was how they set up the boss uh, well the bosses in here because um, when you uh, I guess a lot of it is based a little bit on luck because when you kill the vampire bat that drops the armor in here uh, you have a chance to start a chain uh, of boss spawns so killing the I think I have the, uh, the wiki up here which will explain it a bit so if you kill the vampire bat you then have a chance to uh, start a cycle that will spawn another boss uh, randomly around the zone called envy uh, and you can see here what the different bosses drops uh, the vampire bats like I said drops the armor and the and Envy drops the accessories like the necklaces and cloaks and stuff. The third boss, if you get to the third chain, he will drop some hit point augments that you can uh, socket into your armor for more hit points. Um, and moving on to the next uh, boss in the chain, Lust, uh, she will drop spells. Then we have Pride, which will drop weapons that you can put your, uh, your um, epic augments into. Uh, those are really decent weapons for the for the tier as well and uh, Moving on you can have wrath spawn and uh, wrath will drop uh, essences of loping planes that's um, uh, These here so it's like a, and the essences for each uh, each tier and uh, and then you may get to sloth and sloth drops something that is mandatory Um which I will get back to in a little bit. Uh, Bane weapons are uh, needed uh, for uh, completing this zone. And the last boss is called Greed and he drops a, a, a mount that when you mount it, it'll give you 150k extra hit points. So I really like that, you know, uh, killing the boss and, you know, hoping for another chain. Uh, and, you know, sometimes you'll get a, you'll get a lot of chain spawns and sometimes you won't. Uh, you know, so it's kind of, like I said, it's based on, on, on luck. Uh, but, you know, there is another way of spawning bats than just go around and mindlessly killing uh, the mobs in here. And as you can see on my map, uh, I've edited my map. And you can see a lot of these numbers like A1, A2, A36 here, A16, 18 or whatever it is. And all these marks on my map. Uh, are um, potential spots where uh, you, you need to have levitate off uh, or potential spots where you can uh, trigger some mobs to spawn so uh, let's do a quick run around here you can uh, check out the zone and we'll try to walk over these uh, I'm not sure if this map is available on uh, on the wiki but if it isn't i'll make sure to put it out there and if you need this map uh and you're still not and it's still not there you can just you know talk to me on discord or um or in game and uh and i'll be able to send it to you um if you are in loping planes and you want this so basically running around to these uh spots here you may, I was hoping to trigger some of them for the content. Okay, there we go. So you see, sometimes there is a, it's a, it's a small delay. So running around uh, on these um, marks that I've placed on the map, uh, you will be able to spawn some, um, some uh, mobs here. And they have also a chance to spawn the vampire bat. And they will also drop something else. Oh, I was not going to say these, but might as well just show these while we're at it, because um, these are the Leaves of Vitality, and they started rank 1, and they drop all over this zone, and you can combine them together to make higher ranks, giving you more hit points, which you can socket into your armor, like, like I have here. But this is like... Uh, uh, um, a later tier uh, so you can see this has a lot of a lot more hit points so this basically starts dropping uh, in later um, tiers but this is quite nice especially for your uh, tank you might want to you might want to uh, to to you know focus on your tank first and get these uh, leaves for your armor 
Um, so uh, as you can see here, you can run around and you can trigger the bats and the and the and the, um, the mobs from from these uh, uh, locations that I've marked on the map. Uh, and sometimes they will uh, also drop something else. Um, so I'll get back to that now because what I was showing you now is how to spawn the vampire bats. Just you can just run around and kill all the mobs in the zone and. And you can basically do it like this or highlight it and then you will easily notice when you check the map if you get a vampire bat to spawn. So you have a chance to get some armor and start the chain for other stuff that you need of the, the bosses uh, in the chain. Uh, but you also uh, need to work on upgrading your epic from uh, tier 6 to tier 7. Uh, and the way to do that is uh, when we run... I'll just, uh, you know... Uh, fly around <laughs> in the zone you can see here are some goblins uh, goblins here and uh, yeah, more of them here uh, let's just get over the bridge here oh, it's kind of hard to control this uh, carpet <laughs> uh, okay so moving down here you have another set of mobs um, so these ghosts here uh, so all around the zone there are like 12, at least 12 different uh, NPC types. And I think there are at least 40 of each of them. Uh, and you need to, whenever you have killed um, all the, all the um, NPCs of the same uh, type, uh, like all the horses here, all the goblins, uh, then there will spawn another um, mob in the zone here somewhere. And uh, it's important to catch when they spawn because when you uh, walk over to them, they will um, they will drop a stone. Uh, I have one here to show you. Uh, they will drop an epic stone, uh, and uh, you need twelve of these. Uh, and once you have twelve of these, you need to uh, move down here. This zone can be a bit tricky to navigate through because you know there is a mountain ridge here, which kind of you know like if I, sh I show on the map here. This mountain ridge is kind of like separating uh, the zone <laughs> a little bit, so it can be a bit tricky to navigate before you, you know, you've learned it a bit. Uh, so basically, um, when you have killed all the mobs of a certain type, uh, there will spawn a new um, a new NPC that will drop the epic stone that I showed you. Um, oh, I'm way off tracks here now. And okay, here we are. So you can see there's a temple up, up there. And whenever you have all the 12 stones, the epic stones, you can, uh, when you're ready, hand them in to the archaeologist over here. Uh, and when you have handed him all the 12 epic stones, he will port you inside this temple. And, uh, and there you will meet a boss called the Floating Skull. Uh, that is not to say you should... Uh, you should uh, uh, you know, collect the stones uh, as the first thing you do and just go ahead and spawn the boss uh, because that will not be a smart thing to do. Uh, the, only re uh, the only way to kill the, the floating skull boss is to have your bane weapons. So that means spawning the vampire bats and, um, and you know, hope for chains so that you can get... Um, you can get up to the boss that drops the Bane weapons and you need to collect them on your characters. Uh, the only way to, you know, uh, skip the Bane weapons is if you have already made your ultimate weapons uh, to, I think, uh, I think rank, um, I think rank 8, uh, so 7 or 8, if you have rank 7 or 8. Uh, they will uh, also have the effect of floating skull, as you can see here on my weapon. I think it's still on these. Maybe, yeah. So you can see here the bane damage floating skull. So that's the damage, bane damage you need to kill the, um, to kill the uh, the boss in here that drops um, that drops the completed epic book seven. So. Um, you know, before you start working on your epics, you definitely should go around here and, uh, you know, collect all the epic stones for all your characters. And while doing that, you have probably, hopefully at least, spawned 
um, so many uh, vampire bats that you you know have uh, some bane damage, uh, bane weapons. I mean, and um, and some uh, some extra loot as well. So as you can see here, are the crocodiles. Uh, so a neat trick here if, is uh, I'll show you one thing to make this zone a bit easier to keep track of uh, when you're killing the different mob types. So what you can do, um, and you probably may know this already, but if you don't, let me just show you something. Uh, oh, I've been running around here as you can see, maybe it is. Anyways, uh, so the first thing you do is map hide NPC. And then you can type map show. And when you type map show, you can type the name of the mobs that you want to show on the map. So if you uh, if you type map show crocodile, you will uh, it'll display all the crocodiles in the zone, and this will make it easier for you to target specific uh, NPC types when you are farming uh, uh, the various uh, stones you need to complete your epic seven. So basically you can hide every mob type except your cro and the crocodiles. You can run around and kill all these and when they are all dead they'll spawn um, another uh, crocodile which you need to kill and loot the epic stone. Um, I was hoping I was hoping now to um, I was hoping to show you um, A second. I was kind of hoping to show you some of the um, some of the bosses here, so I'm going to cheat a little bit. Uh, I'm using something that that you may uh, acquire when you're higher level and you're participating in events. Uh, you can get this item called Scorpion Spear, which basically is a click item that you can use. Uh, it ha I have 41 of them in my inventory right now and every time you click it you use one uh, of these spears and basically what it does is it pulls the zone, the entire zone. Uh, and by doing that now I will uh, kill all these uh, mobs pretty easily because I'm, I'm much higher level and uh, so this is basically trivial for me and it's also uh, something that a lot of players rely on when they are you know, back flagging new characters uh, with their higher level characters. So it's basically, um, uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty easy to do this. And you know, it does take a lot of the fun away from the game uh, once you've done this. Uh, um, so, uh, but you know, it's both fun and it's you know easy at the same time. But this is something that uh, these samples are something that. You know, um, you have to participate in the events to get these, and um, and also uh, the new higher tiers uh, of the server uh, is it's not possible to do this. Uh, so uh, when you get to the highest tiers, uh, it's not going to be possible to to sample, and it will also not be possible to sample in future tiers, uh, basically because it is you know it takes some of the even it takes some of the you know the challenge away and and you know basically this is this would be trivial for me uh, regardless but um some pulling in the higher level tiers is something that will not happen um on the server and the last few tiers uh it ha uh, well the last few uh, in uh, zones that has been made it has it hasn't been possible to even do this uh, so but yeah it is a possibility and uh, it is something that uh, you can do from time to time when you have formed uh, an event and uh, you have gathered some of these uh, spears so basically uh, you know back flagging back flagging a lot of characters this will make it um, quite a bit easier. So now you will see I've killed now I've killed the entire zone and uh, the mobs that are left here right now these are the mobs that have spawned because I've killed every one of the mob types in here. So um, moving over here now I kill all the crocodiles in the zone so that means I can move over here and I can kill this new uh, crocodile uh, that's spawned over here 
and he will drop an epic stone for me. Uh, so um, let's kill him and when we loot him you can see he has the epic stone number one. So the crocodiles, they don't drop the first epic stone. You need 12 of, 12 of these. Uh, so um, now I can... Um, uh, I saw there was some bat, but I can just map hide uh, NPC again and uh, just do a map show vampire. Uh, you can also, if you know how to use the macro quest ini file called mq2hud, you can also add these spawns uh, to that HUD and you'll get it displayed um, up here. I, I haven't added the... Well, I used to have the vampire bats up here, but I removed them because I'm not using this zone anymore. But uh, but you can do that as well if you know how to. And if you don't, uh, just hook me up, uh, send me a you know, message on our Discord channel or something. And I will explain to you exactly how I do it. Uh, okay, so the last thing I wanted to do now before, um, before ending this uh, preview of this zone or the guide to the zone, more or less, is to visit the vampire bats over here. So, uh, let's pull this bat and kill it. And once the bat is dead, we can see that now we got a chain boss here, a chain spawn. So we got Envy over here. Uh, so that means I can run over there and uh, kill Envy as well. But first, this is the Loping Plains wrist pattern. So, uh, using this, um, we can just uh, quickly show how to do this as well. So, I'm basically just going to get back to the instance, as, uh, the entrance, here, and uh, see, we have the Wandering Trader here. So, what happens is I give him this pattern, uh, like this. And he will give me back my tier 7 armor of the correct uh, class. So um, that is how you make the armor in this zone. So, it's, uh, it's so moving back to uh, Envy. We will uh, run over there and see if we cannot get another chain spawn offer. So... Like I said, it's been a while since I navigated in the zone. <laughs> so it takes a while to get used to, but uh, obviously you will most likely not be traveling at the speed that I am now, unless you have the carpet farmed. So here is the next boss. Envy. I do not envy that look. Uh, so that's quite the ironic NPC model, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, killing the envy, uh, killing envy, and you will... Um, you will get um, uh, the accessory parts here. So uh, here we have the mask, the face. So uh, you no longer need to combine this with, you know, the previous. Uh, like in tier six, if you have the, if you want the tier six uh, face, um, you would have to have the tier five as well, and just combine them. You don't need to do that anymore here. So you can just, you know, loot this and uh, and. Um, and just instantly equipped it without necessarily having the tier 6 or the tier 5 uh, phase from before. So um, this is basically how the boss chains work. Uh, it looks like... Actually, we got a third spawn here now with Gluttony. So you can basically get back to Gluttony here and s continue the chain. And, you know, hope for the Bane weapons and uh, and the essences. And so I really like this. It's, it is it, it is a little bit of running around. So so I do recommend having a, a fast mount when you do this. Uh, and, you know, as you can see here, if you have if you have had the chance to farm in Kiwik for this carpet, it will obviously make this, um, this uh, zone's progression a lot faster for you. Uh, because you can travel at the insane speed that I'm doing currently. So let's just wrap this up with uh, killing Gluttony and then um, and then um, I think we'll end the, the movie for for now and uh, and the next movie I'll move over to Temple of Vision, which I'm sure many of you uh, will know from the live. <laughs> 
from EverQuest Live. So we'll do that in the new uh, movie. Um, so here's Gluttony, and here are the uh, hit point augments, uh, which you can uh, socket into your weapon, uh, to your armor. Okay, so it looks like probably, okay, so we can see Lust over here. Well, now that I'm already, uh, there's not going to be much more important things in this video, so if you just want to, wanna, you can safely just end it now. Uh, but if you want to tag along and um, and see the rest of the bosses, I can do them now, and we can see how far we'll get. So, but this is the end of the the you know uh, the guide, but the uh, in terms of um, of the useful in information. So I'm just gonna move up here now, see if I can get lost, and see we'll just see how far we can get with these mobs, these bosses. Kind of feels like cheating when you run around this carpet. <laughs> okay, so here we have Lust. All right, so that is more appropriate NPC model for the for the name, I guess. So let's finish her off. And um, she will have spells for you. Uh, and um, you may you may get lucky and get the spells that you need here, but don't forget that you can also create these spells uh, with uh, with uh, using the Valum and the, and the, um, element uh, items and the, um, and the class ink uh, to to create the spells that you need uh, just uh, check out the wiki for the recipes that you need so we also got pride now Let's see if my okay so we are kind of lucky now with um, with our chains. Uh, you won't get this lucky every time. So every time you kill a bat doesn't mean that you will get this far in the chain. Uh, but you know, tagging along now, seeing as we, you know, get I get to show some of these uh, bosses. Uh, might as well just kill them and um, and see how far we'll get. All right, so uh, pride is gone, and here you'll see um, here you'll see the um, the weapons uh, that will drop here by wrath. Uh, I mean um, by pride, and in here you can socket your uh, epic augments. So these are quite nice for the for the level uh, and the stats if you don't ha already have your ultimate weapon. So I also now see uh, Rath spawning here, and, uh, and let's move over and uh, kill him as well, and see if we can get this chain to complete. Alright, so he's up there. Okay, so we basically have to run around here and go back up here and up this hill. So it should be around here somewhere, maybe behind here, I think it was. Yeah. All right, so here is Wrath. All right, and he will be a lot more intimidating uh, to you <laughs> when you're just breaking into the zone. I can uh, promise you that. All right, so uh, let's see here. He drops uh, uh, the essence here, and also um, this one, which is quite nice, which you can can put on your shoulders, um, the shoulder slots, which will be really nice for your uh, DPS classes, but because it'll reduce your threat. Uh, and as we can see here, we got sloth, and uh, that's second to last, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that's the second to last. So we are up to sloth now. So this is a really good boss chain we got just now for the for the content. So I'm kind of glad we got that. Uh, so let's kill sloth for the bane weapon. Uh, as you can see here, I got my you know reward item, uh, but it's still in cooldown. So I guess it's just 
just about as fast to just run back, uh, fly back, I mean. <laughs> so moving back here, well, um, I'll keep this up because, you know, yeah, it was not quite as fast as uh, suckering back. Well, it could have been, I think. <laughs> Maybe it would have been anyway. Still, uh, moving up to Sloth here, which, which is the second to last uh, boss in the chain. Um, he spawns up here. So you can see some of these bosses, they have like the, the same kind of areas that they spawn. So here is Sloth. He's kind of cool looking. And there she comes. Alright, so she is doing some some damage here. Not to me it would, but you know, for a normal player at this level. Uh, and uh, here we have... Oh, she also drops essences, I forgot that. Uh, so here is the Bane weapons. So uh, I, I think some of these weapons are higher damage than others. But basically it does 15,000 uh, Bane damage to the Floating Skull, which is the boss that you need to... Um, uh, uh, the boss that you need to kill to get your epic seven. And uh, behold, we also got the last spawn. The last boss in the chain. So this was really lucky uh, right now for showing this off. Uh, okay, so here we have the last boss in the chain called Greed. And Greed will drop a mount which gives you uh, a quite a decent hit point uh, oh my god oh, so there was a, a bat there as well okay so killing greed you will get the mount and more often than not you will not get this far in the chain that's for sure um, but um, drops the rabbit warg mount which gives you um, I can show it I can show it, show it out here first, and then we'll uh, end this section, and uh, I'll get back in another video with um, with uh, the next tier, like I said, Temple of Asian. And uh, but you can check, uh, you can check here, uh, you can check the hit points by typing HP. Uh, so you can see my current hit points, and I can jump on my mount, and you can uh, type it again. You can see that there is a for me, it's a minor increase, but but you know, for a for a player at this level, it is uh, all right, I guess. Um, so, and if you don't already have a mount, uh, this will be, you know, something to run around on, looking cool. It's quite a quite a cool mount, actually. It actually is. So, yes. Uh, so that is it for this uh, video. So thank you for watching uh, the guide to loping planes, and I hope you to I hope to see you in the next uh, movie uh, where I will show off, um, give hints and tips for uh, Temple of Vision, which is the tier eight.